Returning to my coin lady channel, I am pleased to see you again. Whatever the crazy XRP haters, the ones suffering from XRP derangement syndrome, have to say about XRP, the fact that there are so many financial sector executives who understand it is telling. Have you noticed, though, that XRP stands out from other coins, because, wow, it's actually functionally useful? This is something that a seemingly endless number of people in traditional finance have noticed. This is such an original idea. So, I know this from my own experience diving headfirst into the cryptocurrency market in 2017, and I'm ready to wager that you all did the same, when you hear about XRP, it's unusual for it to have a practical application. How original of an idea is that? So, I'll give you an example of a CEO that gets it, in this instance, it's the president of a precious metals company that deals in a lot of gold in particular. This is intriguing because, you know, the gold bugs, if you will, like Peter Schiff are out there quite a bit. They will act like Peter Schiff if they are not involved in the cryptocurrency industry. Perhaps he is sincere in his belief that the crypto asset class would collapse in value, a notion that is completely ridiculous in the year 2024. On that, it's difficult to take him seriously. I believe he's correct on a lot of things, but that's not one of them, is it? Consequently, I grasp the fact that he has a vested interest in increasing his gold sales, and it hurts his bottom line if people are putting their money into other things. I understand, but it is what really adds to the intrigue here. Look at this man, he's peddling gold and silver. Since the purpose of gold is to be a store of value, it stands to reason that more and more individuals will be investing in cryptocurrency for the same reason. For the most part. Yeah, XRP makes a lot of sense, he tells the gathering logically, even though he knows it will hurt his firm. He even went to the extent of saying, I'll share the rest of my quote to get into the video, which is excerpted here. However, he did mention that XRP's integration within the system makes it incredibly promising. Oh, absolutely. That's right. Actually, it is already the case. It's only going to grow. Just so we're clear, I don't come from a financial family or anything. You should not put your money where your mouth is or make a purchase based on my recommendations, I am not a financial advisor. As a hobby and for fun, I enjoy making films on YouTube regarding crypto-related subjects, I'm just an enthusiast. Andy Schechtman is the individual we are referring to here. I didn't know he was the president and owner of Miles Franklin, but I guess that's not important. But if you look at their website, you'll notice that they focus solely on precious metals. Investments. That is their area of expertise here. Rather than cryptocurrency. And thus, this is a headline from Cohenpedia, an XRP news source, a proponent of gold, Ripple, Vax, claims it will soar once the SEC foolishness is resolved. Although Miles Franklin owner and President Andy Schechtman mainly deals in gold, he was recently asked about several cryptocurrency choices for diversification, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and Chainlink. Still, he argued that XRP's distinctive architecture and pre-existing alliances set it apart. People consider that, and it's like, I'm probably just echoing everyone else, but I really do think XRP is more significant and practical than Bitcoin. In my opinion, that is an actual declaration of fact, it is not even an opinion. That is correct. Plus, I'm still holding on to my Bitcoin. It's kind to me. It has the ability to endure, because it was an early adopter. Even though it was the first cryptocurrency, Bitcoin is technologically the worst cryptocurrency ever because it is so slow. I've held some since 2017. Relocating is expensive. You can only put it to so much good use. If you wish to truly construct it, you'll need to utilize layer 2s on top of it. Utilize it for monetary transactions, so. Continued, as you are capable of doing. Okay with me. Yet if you continue to speak about it, it's useless. It's only that, from a technology standpoint, it's completely outdated. Then there's XRP which functions as a peer-to-peer -peer cash system with real-time settlement, just as Satoshi Nakamoto had envisioned Bitcoin. 
3 or 5 seconds is the equivalent of 35 seconds per ledger, isn't it? Including deals. Do not be cheap. You could say it's free, since it's so inexpensive, just a fraction of a penny. What Bitcoin was originally intended to achieve but is currently unable to do is actually pretty great, and it has been accomplished by using enterprise-grade software. So, what Ripple is doing with XRP was basically their main focus here. Also, we shouldn't rely on Ripple alone to ensure XRP's sustainability, in fact, I don't think it will. Besides that, it's crystal evident what Ripple is capable of. That's not good. The XRP price is being affected. There is simply no good news for XRP. For more than 10 years, they have had. I still believe Ripple is a major role in the XRP ecosystem, even though it hasn't affected the price of X. That is absolutely correct and reasonable in this case, however luckily XRP is utilized by many additional firms for various reasons, a number of them were brought to our attention through the amicus papers filed by them in the SECV Ripple case, examples include tap jets. Then there was spin the bits, which transfers Bitcoin via XRP and the XRP ledger because Bitcoin's cumbersome layer prevents it from doing so. Here are just a handful examples that I can think of immediately. Evidently, XRP is not going anywhere. I simply want to say this to anyone who is going to approach this calmly and objectively. I fail to understand how you fail to reach that conclusion in this context. That's the way things are shaping up. There are no indications that the surface is cracked or anything similar. This thing is really effective. So be it. I believe that markets will come to a realization about XRP's extreme undervaluation. Professionals like these affirming what we already know is true is refreshing. Good news, most people either don't know or don't agree. That's great news, because if everyone already agrees, it means it's too late to invest in something that can result in life-changing wealth. Thus, it is clear that we are at the forefront of this field. Time is still required, despite XRP's existence for more than a decade. Not only is XRP a factor, but the entire crypto asset class is still in its infancy, thus the process is taking its sweet time. Yeah, it's been slow, but it's moving in the correct direction in terms of adoption. Price won't stop it, in my opinion. However, when considering all other factors, it has steadily improved for more than 10 years. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Thank you for watching my channel and for subscribing. I will see you later.